Good morning and welcome to you all on this Friday, the 25th of March. Today we celebrate the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I'm going to be using the Book of Common Prayer this morning. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the psalm that is allocated for this morning is Psalm 119 verses 33 to 72. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall keep it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein is my desire. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. O oh, turn away mine eyes, lest they behold vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. O oh, establish thy word in thy servant, that I may fear thee. Take away the rebuke that I am afraid of, for thy judgments are good. Behold, my delight is in thy commandments. O oh, quicken me in thy righteousness. Let thy loving mercy come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according unto thy word. So shall I make answer unto my blasphemers, for my trust is in thy word. O take not the word of thy truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in thy judgments. So shall I always keep thy law, yea, for ever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy commandments. I will speak of thy testimonies also, even before kings, and will not be ashamed. And my delight shall be in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and my study shall be in thy statutes. O think upon thy servant as concerning thy word, wherein thou hast caused me to put my trust. The same is my comfort in my trouble, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me exceedingly in derision, yet I have not shrinked from my law. For I remembered thine everlasting judgments, O Lord, and received comfort. I am horribly afraid for the ungodly that forsake thy law. Thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have thought upon thy name, O Lord, in the night season, and have kept thy law. This I had, because I kept thy commandments. Thou art my portion, O Lord, I have promised to keep thy law. 
I made my humble petition in thy presence with my whole heart. O be merciful unto me according to thy word. I called mine own ways to remembrance and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and prolonged not the time to keep thy commandments. The congregations of the ungodly have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and keep thy commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. O teach me thy statutes. O Lord, thou hast dealt graciously with thy servant according unto thy word. O learn me true understanding and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Before I was troubled, I went wrong, but now I have kept thy word. Thou art good and gracious, O teach me thy statutes. The proud have imagined a lie against me, but I will keep thy commandments with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as brawn, but my delight hath been in thy law. It is good for me that I have been in trouble, that I may learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is dearer unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading that is set for today is taken from 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. But I'm going to continue now with the Tadeum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all of the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge, we therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The New Testament reading this morning comes from Romans chapter 5, verses 12 to 21. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned, for until the law sin was in the world, 
but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offence, so also is the free gift. For if through the offence of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offences unto justification. For if by one man's offence death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offence of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offence might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound that as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant, David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high have visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. 
Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you this morning. Enjoy for the beauty of a lovely new spring day. We thank you for the beauty that's all around us. And we ask that you help us to notice it. That Father also we have such sorrow in our hearts for the troubles of the world. The other forefront of our minds is the fighting that's continuing in Ukraine. Father, we ask that you would be with the people of Ukraine. those who are hiding underground, those who are remaining in their homes, but who are terrified about what's going to happen next. And we pray that you will also be with those who have fled their country, not through choice, but through necessity, who have made their way across borders into the surrounding countries. 
We pray for the governments of those countries and the people who are trying to provide for the huge numbers that have arrived with nothing. Father God, we thank you for all of the care agencies and those who are working hard to transport what is needed to where it is needed. We thank you that so many are opening their homes to house Ukrainians. Father, we pray that hostilities may cease, that a true and just peace may be found, that there will be an end to this destruction. And Father, we pray for the government of our own country as they make decisions as to where and how we can help those that flee. We pray that problems with red tape may be dealt with quickly, that there aren't unnecessary hold-ups Father, we could do you to pray for those people in our town. All of the people who live in Rayleigh and the people who work in Rayleigh. And pray for your continued blessing on them. We remember all of those who are unwell at the moment and ask for your healing. We've been asked to pray for Colin, who has recently completed four sessions of chemo, but now needs to recover before he's able to have a major operation. We've been asked to pray for Mark and his dad and for Rob and Angela so that Angela can help them. We continue to pray for all of those who are ill with the COVID virus. We pray for a swift and complete recovery for them. We pray for the elderly and the care homes in Rayleigh and for their carers. And we remember too all of those who have recently lost loved ones. We ask for your comfort. For them. Finally, Father, this morning we pray for ourselves as we start off on this new day. We ask that you would guide us in all our doings. Help each of us to be present for those who we are with. Help each of us to bring a little more of your kingdom into this world. We bring our prayers to you this morning in the name of your Son, 
our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. It's been lovely having you join me this morning. I hope you have a lovely day and I look forward to seeing you very soon. God bless. Goodbye.